Whether you're into vinyl, CDs, streaming, or high res, music lovers are spoiled for choice. And most modern amplifiers take a do-it-all approach, offering a good solution for the average person. But when an amp has a clear focus, trading outright flexibility for intentionality, well, it starts to stand out from the crowd and become the clear choice for the right person. Enter the Marantz Model 50, a love letter to analog. The Model 50 is an all analog design. There's no built-in DAC, no network streaming, no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Instead, there's a misleadingly powerful 70 watts per channel of class AB power, six analog RCA inputs, and an outstanding moving magnet phono input. I thought it would be fitting to grab a few of my favorite all analog records, mastered and cut from the original tapes, and spend some time listening to the Model 50 as purely as it was intended. I kick things off with a recent remaster of Slint's Spiderland. This album has so much dynamic range and space, going from a whisper to an explosion and back again. On songs like Washer, they'll play so softly that a drumstick on a cymbal or a finger on a guitar string are more present than the actual note being played. The Marantz really excels at those lifelike dynamics. The next record up was Ry Cooter's score to the film Paris, Texas, one of my all-time favorites. This album sounds larger than life and extends beyond the edges of the speakers. It's like Ry Cooter's guitar is the landscape and we're wandering around in it. There's also a bit of extra low-end emphasis from the Marantz that adds some lushness to the atmosphere. A big part of the sound quality is the built-in phono preamp. If there was still any doubt, this really clarifies Marantz's intentions with the Model 50. The sound signature is on the warmer side of neutral, and frankly, it outperforms many separate phono preamps. Playing my first pressing of Dinosaur Juniors without a sound, I was impressed with how detailed the Model 50 is, without ever getting harsh. Tracks like Seem Like the Thing to Do are airy and spacious, with a ton of texture in Jay Mascus' vocals and guitar. I read a tape op interview with Jay where he was talking about recording with a specific mic preamp, and he said it's definitely not transparent, an audio word I hate. If it doesn't have a sound, why would I want to use it? And I thought that was a great parallel to the Model 50's built-in phono preamp. It's not as neutral as some separate phono stages from Cambridge, iFi, or Mobile Fidelity, but to my ear, it's more exciting. The Marantz Model 50 isn't for everyone, and that's exactly what makes it so special. If you want the same great sound quality, phono preamplifier, but wish there was a built-in network streamer and DAC, check out the Model 40N. And if you want to add a separate CD player, DAC, and network streamer, Check out the companion CD50N, which combines all three into one component. But if the Marantz Model 50 fits your budget and you're all in on vinyl, the search ends here. <laughs>